Hi guys, Bumby for Spurred On and another edition of Match Preview Battle with Jack Bryden. How are you, Jack Bryden? I'm good, thank you. Excited for this one. Yeah, another good week for Spurs. Let's top it off. Uh, have to obviously start as per with last week's Match Preview Battle results. Uh, not as keen to do this this week as I was last week. Jack uh, got eight points out of all the predictions, eight correct answers, and I only got seven, meaning the league table currently sits as follows. In second place, played six, won three, drawn zero, lost three, plus 61 goal difference, nine points, Jack Bryden. And myself on alphabetical order, played six, won three, drawn zero, lost three, plus 61 goal difference as well. We're exactly the same, nine points myself. So I'm still top of the league, but it's only alphabetical. Still a terrible week. For both of us. That, how We're many not very good. <laughs> Back in the day, people used to get 12 and 13 <laughs> points. Uh, we're staggering along at around seven, eight points it's a week. The, it's because the squad is getting, the team's getting harder. That's to totally pick. true. It's hard to pick your team this, these yeah. days. Let us know in the comments box below what you think about your predictions. Are you getting them right? You're getting right. I keep getting them dead wrong. <laughs> uh, let's start with the team selection for the Manchester City game at home. Sunday, 2.15 kickoff, I do believe. Jack Bryden, what team have you gone for? So I've gone for Loris in goal. Mm -hmm. Walker back, at right back, Jan, Toby, Davis, who's playing excellently at the moment, by the way. So you th we're recording this, I should tell you, uh, Thursday night. Okay, so yeah. there hasn't been Poch's... Um, Report? Uh, ma yeah, like team news yet. So you think Davis will keep his place ahead of Danny Rose, who, who rumoured to been training for a while now? We'll keep Davis in there, just for argument's sake. Anyway, well, no, uh, and then I'm going to put... Opinion. Just let me tell my team news. <laughs> in front of the back four, I'm going to go... And for who are you going to have in front of the back four, then? Do you want me to do this or not? Well. In front of the back four, I'm going to have Victor Wanyama. And then a little bit different, I'd like we similar to what we did the other night, I'm going to have in front of Wanyama a four. So Lamella, Ali and Eriksen, and then Sun on the left, and then Janssen up front. But they, you know, these formations say, all sort Why of did you say left and point to the right? Because that's their left. Right. All right, Stop so no Dembele, no Dyer. Look. I think that's what my team's going to be. All if right. you think otherwise, then I so do. be it. I do. And who's up front? Also, Dembele's not going to be back. He's not going to risk him straight away. Who's up front? Uh, Janssen, of Janssen. course. Okay, so um, I think that he rested those players against uh, on a Tuesday night against CSKA because he wanted them fit for this one. So I have gone mm. for what I deem to be the first 11. Hugo in goal, Carl Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Super Yambatong and Danny Rose. Eric Dyer and Moussa Dembele just in front. Hung Min Son, Deli Ali, Christian Eriksen and Vincent Janssen. Now I say that the first 11 because I think genuinely at this point in time, Hung Min Son has played himself into the first 11 ahead of Eric Lamella. Is that controversial, Jack? No, not at all. But I think you can play those on either side. I was watching the game um, against CSK in Moscow and there were a couple of times when Lamella would drift into the middle mm. um, and then Janssen would pull a player out to the left mm. And then some would be able to get in behind a defender, and then that's how one of the goals came, I believe. Well, there was only and one happened, goal. And, and, and it happened like that a couple of times. And I think Lamella, it was key in those movements. So I think he'll get a game. It Is might this in the Moscow game, not on. the Middlesbrough game? The Moscow game. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's go for scoreline. Jack, what is your prediction? I will. I was tempted to go for a 1 1, but I I'm, I'm don't want to jinx it, and I want to give us a 2 1 win. Purely because we're on a good run of form. Yes, they are on a good run of form, but they had their draw against Celtic uh, midweek. And yeah, I think that we could easily, you know, we're a decent team these yeah. days. So I think we could we could also uh, get three points out of this. And they have some players out as well. They have company yes, they out, do. they have De Bruyne out, which I think is massive. And Nolito is, is a, a big, big miss one. as well. He has surprised me with his quality. I think it's because he knows the system that Guardiola plays from Spain and seems to know he's a technically a good player, but also intelligent mm. player. So it'll be interesting to see who comes in for him. I've gone for 2-2. Two, two. I've gone for Desmond. I think both teams going into the international break won't want to lose this one. Um, but I think it'll be quite an open game at times. Spurs will look, I think, to hit City on the break. I do think City are weak defensively, oh, but also I think they are strong offensively. And Sergio Aguero, I think, will score in terms of scorers. Uh, I think Silva will score. And for Spurs, I've gone for Janssen and Alderweireld. Who are your scorers? I've gone for Sun. You can't not say Sun. I've yeah. gone for Ali because I think, like you say, they're def they play quite a high line. And I think um, also looking at their game in midweek, John Stones look really shaky. Otamendi leading the back line. You know, it might not be the best uh, defensively. Um, so I think Ali might be able to get beyond those. And 
also all of Wilde was looking for those balls over the top again. He so was Ali should have scored. He should have got one down. Oh, no, that was Ericsson. That one. Oh, that, what Ericsson a ball that pass, was, by yeah, the way. Um, so yeah, I think maybe Ali will get in behind, and Aguero loves a goal against Spurs. He yeah. didn't get any against us last season, but I think he will well, get one against We got six Spurs. points off them last season, so long may that continue. Uh, before we go on to the predictions for the other results around us, we can talk a little bit about Fangio now, guys. If you haven't started playing Fangio, which is a really brilliant fantasy football team, uh, football game, sorry, where it's not like other fancy football where you can just play it over the one season. This is every weekend. You can pick a new team every weekend. Just a little bit of money. If you put a bit of money in, you can win money up to and including sometimes seven and a half thousand pounds or six thousand pounds, depending on which game you pick. So go to fanjul.co.uk. All the details are in the description box below. And I can tell you that this week, if you use our promo code, which is spurred on in capital letters, that's spurred on in capital letters, and we'll put it down there as well for you to see. If you use that promo code and enter a little bit of money to play in a game, then you will be automatically entered into a draw to win, I kid you not, a shirt of your choice, a Premier League shirt of your choice uh, at the end of the week, potentially, and at the end of the month, a brand new Xbox on which you could play FIFA 17, which has only just been released. So I can recommend it, fanjul.co.uk. The promo code is spurred on. All the information in the description box below. Get playing it. We, uh, if you've seen previous previews, you'll see that we pick our team based on players who play for Spurs and who previously have played for Spurs. So can recommend that, especially with the likes of Kapue, Chadley, Townsend, all doing so well. Jermaine the game, Defoe still scoring. I can recommend doing that, but you don't have to. You can pick any players you want. Anyway, let's get on to the predictions for the other matches around us. I'm going to go first for this one. The matches we're predicting are Everton against Palace, Swansea against Liverpool, Hull against Chelsea, Man United against Stoke, and Burnley against Arsenal. Uh, we're not bothering about the Leicester game because they're down in 12th, uh, so we don't care about them at the moment. They're only really interested in the Champions League. We're doing very so, well, yeah. doing very well there. Okay, so the Everton Palace game, I've gone for one all. The reason I've done that, Jack, is because Everton have lost two in the row now, one in the Premier League, one in the League Cup at home to Norwich. So I think their confidence will be wavering. And Palace have had some good results. Yeah. And Andros is starting to pick up his form. So I've gone one all there. Swansea, Liverpool, I'm afraid Liverpool look fantastic at the moment. They've really bought in to Klopp's way of thinking, to the Gagan press. They will go to Swansea with uh, Guidolin under pressure and win 3-1. That is my prediction. 3-1 there to Liverpool. Hull against Chelsea. Now, as much as I'd like to see Hull get a result there, they had a great start in August. September hasn't been quite as profitable for them. Uh, so, and Chelsea have John Terry back, so I'm afraid it's Hull nil, Chelsea 2 for me. Uh, Man United against Stoke. Uh, I think Man United, now they've dropped Rooney. Mourinho's found a way to get them playing a more dynamic, quicker, more pacey, and uh, just more impressive brand of football without him. So I think that will be Man United 2, Stoke nil. Stoke are on a fucking hiding to nothing, by which I mean chuffing, not effing. Uh, hiding to nothing at the moment. They can't get a result anywhere. And then finally, Burnley against Woolwich. Uh, I'm going Burnley 1, Woolwich 3. They're playing well too. Even Theo Walcott is scoring. What do you think? It's mad how similar these are. You would think that I'd copy you. Not that you blamed me of copying you earlier, to be fair. Anyway, uh, I'm going to also card go... suddenly on his desk. That's a complete lie. He's lying to you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go for Everton 1 all as well. Like you say, Palace won 3 2. Was it 3 2 last time out? Wasn't it 4 1? I don't know, I can't remember. But anyway, they're, 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 you know, they they're getting good results. Um, Everton, like you say, off the back of a loss, won't be that confident. So I'm thinking, yeah, 1 all. Uh, Liverpool, you can't see them not winning. I'm going to go 3 0 against Swansea. Hull and Chelsea 2 0. Like you say, John Terry back. It's going to be a lot more organised at the back there. Cahill yeah. probably, you know, being given the boot yeah. to the bench. And, you know, you can see John Terry completely organising David Luiz in a way that uh, Cahill couldn't. Yep. So um, I'm going to go 2-0 Chelsea there. United, look, Stoke are going to go to Old Trafford and set up defensively, aren't they? They're, they're not shipping too many goals when they go away. They're still shipping goals, but they're not shipping too many goals. 14 so in the first five <coughs> games, I know that. Is that away? How many away, though? No, I don't, no, 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 I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm just saying, I'm not going against you. I'm just saying that well, they're, they're shy. Yeah, no, that, yeah, they're not the best team. So I'm going to go for a United 2-0 as well. Oh, very close, yeah. Very close. Uh, and, yeah, Arsenal, with their win in midweek as well, they're going to be sky-high confidence-wise. And Burnley, although they did win um, quite convincingly, I think. Oh, they beat Watford that. easy, 2-0, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for an Arsenal 2-0. Not, not to sound obsessed like a lot of uh, Woolwich fans accuse Spurs of being, but 
are you worried about them in terms of this season any more than any other season or are they doing their very usual lose the first game go on a good run and then it'll all crumble and they'll be wanting their manager out in a, a few months time i'm reluctant to go on camera and, and sort of say anything about sort of how it's going to end in the season but yeah they're, they're looking good um the wheels are starting to move a little bit better than maybe they were before. So, yeah, they're obviously a team to, to keep your eyes open for. But we just got to keep doing our thing. Think we'll turn them over in November? Um, hope so. Hope so. If we can keep injuries at bay and Kane is back by then, then, yeah, why not? Guys, let us know what you think in the comments box below. Can I have a stat? I've got a, I found an interesting stat Mate, that I thought you, you guys can. might like. Uh, whilst Pochettino was at Espanyol, Pochettino only won one out of his nine versus Pep's Barcelona. Is that Which right? It doesn't bode well for us, but hopefully he can buck that trend. And, and I like to win. think the standard of the teams is a bit closer oh, in this massively. match than uh, Espanyol against uh, Baza. Good Spanish accent. Fee. Uh, guys, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Spurred on TV. Don't forget to do uh, Fanjul, fanjul.co.uk. And, uh, you know, get behind the boys this Sunday against City. If we come out of this, going to the international break, still unbeaten or even with a win, just imagine how you'll be feeling. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On and this is another match preview, this time for the Champions League.